Well, guys, I know that was a little bit different intro for me. Uh, you're expecting me to say, welcome to Tales from Target Suite. And so at least I can do that and say, welcome to Tales from Target Suite. And we are going to share a little bit of an adventure today because we're down here all the way at the bottom of my property. And the creek is right over there. And uh, I wanted to come down here in the woods in a natural setting and show off this new Marble Arms bullseye rear sight that I put on the Winchester 1892. And the video that I posted about this guy when I introduced him a few weeks ago has gotten over 100,000 views. It's my biggest video ever. And I wanna thank you guys for jumping in and watching that. And uh, wow, I never would have guessed. But a lot of comments were, cause it came with the Buckhorn site, which I can't use. And so a lot of the comments that we, that were offered up were solutions for replacing the Buckhorn site. Things like the uh, Tang side from Marble Arms, from uh, Marbles, the uh, a, a side-mounted um, uh, receiver side, like from Lyman, and uh, is that a spider crawling across the lens? I don't know if it'll show up on the video, <laughs> but anyway, I don't have holes here uh, for that. And and one of the one of my uh, subscribers mentioned this site from Marble Arms. It's the Bullseye Rear Rear Sight. And I had seen that years ago and forgotten all about it. And so I, I bought one, they're cheap, like 20 bucks. And I, I fitted it. If you wanna see a little video about that, I posted it on Instagram at Target Suite and you can check that out. Um, but it really, really works. It's a simple solution. It doesn't change the look, the lines of the rifle at all. And it provides everything that, you, that a guy needs for um, for a minute of pig or even better, probably minute of Coke can, uh, but I don't have any of those out there. My targets are a little bit bigger, but we're going to head out here in just a second and wander through the woods with the uh, mule. And uh, if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the mule, maybe a minute or two, and I'll introduce it and give you a little bit more detail because some of you guys have been asking about that. I'll tell you what, let's do. Let's um, head around the corner and see what kind of critters we can stir up. So we're kind of at the bottom of the property right here. And um, and it's, uh, the creek is, this is kind of the beginnings of the creek and it wanders through through here. It's actually called, well, I won't say it, what the name of the creek is because it's my last name. And, uh, but it's right over there and another 50 yards out of the camera, but we're gonna get right next to it here in just a minute. Um, but this is some really old woods down here. And we're really blessed uh, that the, uh, that, uh, this wasn't clear-cut. 
you know, over the years. And, and so we're, we really get to enjoy some mature trees down here. It is great. But this, uh, the reason I wanted to come down here was just to see, because I haven't shot this in the deep woods yet. And so I wanted to see how the Marble Arms uh, bullseye rear sight worked in kind of average normal light. And, uh, and gosh, it, it really picks up, and I, it really picks up, um, picks up well and it's easy it's natural it draws your uh, draws your eye right to the center of the front sight and uh, and I'm using some SSP glasses they have some magnification at the top right up here which it's just very low magnification it's kind of like bifocals but they're upside down and uh, and they help me focus a little bit more on the sights without distorting the the downrange image too bad and what was I gonna say Oh yes, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And, um, and if you click on that little bell, YouTube says you'll get notified every time I upload a new video, usually on Tuesday. And, uh, and I did have a video for, to release this morning because this is Tuesday. I'm, I'm actually making this video on Tuesday. Um, but I shot a video yesterday, which I'll uh, reshoot. Um, and I had got a setting messed up on my brand new camera. And it would not render, and so I spent uh, w into the wee hours of the morning uh, last night, this morning, trying to get that thing to work, and it would not. So I'm gonna have to reshoot that video. But this was one I wanted to shoot about the Marble Arms site. And you know, it's, some people look at it in the catalog and they wonder, is it chintzy? And I'm gonna play some B-roll here and just let you look at it, um, you know, because it is not a chintzy site. I actually called uh, Marbles and to talk to him about that. And I asked if it was machined out of one solid piece of bar stock. And he said, yes, it was made out of 1014 steel. It's machined in the soft and, and um, then folded and then heat treated. And it makes for a really strong sight. It's as, it's as strong as the, as the uh, buckhorn and it looks really good. And you can see that I've shown some uh, footage here of, of, my, of my rifle, this rifle with the uh, marble arm sight on it. And my son's 1892, which still had the buckhorn, he's got the marble arms now as well, but he had the buckhorn when I t made that shot. And you can see that they're very similar in size. So it does, it's not as a big of a package as you might think. And I don't know how the GoPro is gonna make that show up, but uh, but anyway, I love it, and I want to thank all you guys for suggesting different site options. And so let's uh, let's drive a little bit more. I've got a few more targets here. Let's bust some more jugs, and uh, and I've got a surprise at the end. So let's head down the road here, so to speak.
So I mentioned the um, I mentioned the surprise package. Now we're all the way down to the creek. Uh, it's it's right there and right here. Uh, and I mentioned a surprise package, and it, it's it's something that that the um, that the Gould brothers have cooked up. It's called Crush um, Crush a Clay Challenge. And uh, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to roll that into this video. And then at the last minute, I read the directions. And their crush a clay challenge requires that you pop a clay up and then shoot it in the air. And so uh, and so, what I've got set up over here is going to crush a clay, but it's not going to it's not going to fit their bill. But I may post it to uh, hashtag crush a clay anyway and just say fail. But um, you can you might be able to see you probably can't. But there's a uh, a watermelon through there, and I'm going to move uh, this camera and I'll set it up close over there. But there's a watermelon about um, 30 yards through the trees. Uh, through the bush and um, and it's got a couple of clays on top of it I'm gonna try to shoot the watermelon and see if it will bust the clays and so let's uh, get the camera moved and let's get set up because we're running out of light we had if you notice I've got on a fresh shirt it's because it rained and it kind of interrupted the video and so it's much later in the day when I'm trying to finish here but let me go get that uh, get the GoPro set up right next to that watermelon I don't see the clays anywhere, but I do have the uh, murder hornet emblem that was in the center of one of those clays. <laughs> so that's not going to go on. Uh, that's not going to win their crush a clay challenge, but uh, but it was fun anyway. And you know what? I'm going to cut away here, and then we're going to meet back up where there's still a little bit of daylight, and I'm going to walk you through a little bit of the. Um, of the uh, of what the mule is all about and we'll talk about that M274 military mule it's not going to be an in-depth oh there is a piece of uh, broken clay stuck to the bottom so I do have evidence but anyway uh, I'll give you a little rundown on what the mule is all about and um, and so I'll see you there in just a couple of minutes well, there's a broadside view, the M274 Mule. This particular one is a is an A5. I believe it was made in 1972. So when this one shipped from the factory, it had two-wheel steer. But since then, it's been retrofitted to have four-wheel steer. They cut down on the two-wheel steer because it made the vehicles unstable at speed. And, uh, and so they... Uh, they cut down on maneuver, maneuverability for safety. But these were used uh, quite a bit in Vietnam. And they, they were litter carriers and ammo carriers and every other kind of utility carrier. And they have these, these uh, loops on the wheels so that you can either sling load them directly from a UE or load them on a, or, or tie them down to a, to a, a pallet. But uh, the axles are really cool. The drop axles which give the uh, so there's a gear chain in there from the horizontal bar down to the spindle of wheel and that uh, gives extra ground clearance and so the uh, approach and the approach angle is like 60 degrees and it's amazing it's got a two cylinder Hercules engine it's really nice air cooled bulletproof About a four by eight deck. My my deck is magnesium. And uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, it's got a really cool steering apparatus. If I loosen this, and mine is locked up, I need to get it um, get it freed up. But if I loosen this right here, then I can pull on the whole steering column and lay it down here in front of the in front of the um, mule and that way if you're getting getting enemy fire you can just lay down and crawl on the ground 
and steer from above and in low range low gear because this does have a two-speed gearbox high and low and it has three forward speeds and a reverse and in low range low gear uh, it you can crawl it as fast as it'll go in fact that's what i was driving in for most of the video was low range and low gear and the basket here with all the controls is a quick disconnect and uh, stores underneath uh, just really neat and so for travel it's got these really cool disconnect things seat just comes right out it sits in a post in a hole um, it's got a got a uh, lid there that's where the 50 cal or the not the 50 cal that's where the uh, I believe it's a 105 millimeter recoilless rifle I believe but anyway you can take this out and then it mounts to the frame underneath there's a bracket that mounts to the frame um, military mules of America has quite a few of these and some of them are almost brand new they they got them from the marines oh five or six years ago something like that and uh they're really nice vehicles i've talked enough i appreciate you guys that stayed around just to hear about the mule it's a really a neat vehicle um it's not for everybody but uh but i sure enjoy having it, it the whole family does actually especially the grandkids and so i'll see you guys in the next video and and uh, stay safe so long.